Hey guys and welcome to this very special video. Today I'm really excited because I'm going to show you an exceptional piece from Chanel and this is the new Poudre Cambon and it's a finishing powder, compact powder from Chanel. I have been using this powder for so many years that I can't even remember and I always have this piece in my makeup collection. So now I'm really happy that I have in my hands a limited edition of this powder because it's very beautiful. Today in this video I'm going to show you close-ups in natural light. I'm going to compare this powder to other powders that I have in my collection. So let's go ahead and get started. If you're new here, a very special welcome. I'm so happy that you clicked on my video and you decided to spend some time with me I always appreciate your time if you're a makeup lover please be sure to hit that subscribe button and become part of this amazing beauty community that we have here if you're returning welcome back dear friends I already showed you um, some sneak peeks of this powder on Instagram I'm really falling in love I have fallen in love with this powder because this is a piece that I always have in my makeup collection. I can't even remember when I purchased this powder for the very first time. I know that in the US this powder is not widely available. I think that it's not available on the US website yet, but this is a limited edition and it's, de it's definitely, I think that it's going to be available or at least this is the information that I have for now. I'm always going to keep you posted and I'm going to post updates on Instagram and also in the community section of this channel. So be sure to turn the notification bell on. Now the reason why I decided to dedicate the whole video to this powder is because my love for this powder goes on and on. I can't even remember when was the first time when I purchased this um, compact powder. I'm someone who has normal to combination skin and I'm experiencing oily skin especially in the summer and this powder is my holy grail um, compact powder and I always have it in my handbag especially in the summer. I just actually finished one um, when I was in Venice and this is usually the only powder that I'm going to get when I'm traveling because I know that I'm never uh, I can always rely on this powder because it's going to give me that really nice matte poreless complexion um, it's not going to look like powder it's not cakey and I can reapply it throughout the day as many times as I want so as I'm talking I'm just I just want to show you close-ups of this beauty I'm very happy that Chanel actually decided to release this limited edition this limited edition powder is dedicated to Rue Cambon and it celebrates the very first address of Chanel the flagship store of Chanel which is still there in Paris, if you visit Paris one day, you should definitely go to Rue Cambon 31, where is actually the store of Chanel, which is embossed on this powder. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, I actually had a very hard time swatching, starting to use this powder, and I'm definitely going to be purchasing another one because it's a collectible piece for me. This is a powder that I don't, I can't even count how many of these powders I've used uh, over the years, and I'm so happy that Chanel did, did, Chanel did something exceptional with this powder. This is exactly why I fell in love with Chanel makeup on the first place, and now feel that I feel like Chanel is back on track, back on the right track, because recently there have been um, collections that I was not very impressed with. I, I couldn't fall in love with some of their latest releases, but this is exactly what Chanel should do for their makeup line. They should create some exceptional pieces, and I very rarely actually purchase a product that I don't use and I keep for my collection just to look at. But this one is definitely one that I want to have just for photos or just for watching, just for looking at it um, because it's so exceptionally beautiful. Now it comes in this limited edition box where it says Poudre Cambon and it is transparent. It is translucent. So this powder is going to fit all skin tones. And I'm actually going to give you a close up right now so that you can probably see also the ingredients of the powder. You can just pause the video right now and you can um, see all of the ingredients. Okay, so it's going to come in this limited edition box and you're going to have two little dust bags um, those velvety cases and one is for the powder and the other one is going to be for the brush and the brush is actually very comfortable you can always put this brush um, 
in the box or you can always take this brush and carry it with you uh, if you're traveling let's say when i'm traveling i would usually get one of those chanel brushes because they are really good quality so you're getting a good quality brush and this flat brush i usually like to apply this powder either with a flat brush or with a sponge so with a sponge if i want to get a really a more mattified effect if i want to get that really mm, matte complexion very matte complexion for example if i want to apply only the powder only once for the day and i don't want to reapply throughout the day and i know that it's going to be very hot outside and it's going to be summer i would usually use a sponge and i'm going to press the powder into my skin so that it can erase pores but if you don't want a completely matte complexion then you can always use a flat brush something like this that comes um, in the box or one of my favorite brushes is just an old brush from Sephora, but it's a flat brush and I would usually use this to set my makeup around my nose, on my forehead and generally on the places that are going to get more oily and I'm going to leave the rest of my face glowy. So that's how I like to use this powder. And now a little bit more about this powder. This powder is suitable for all skin types. It's suitable for dry skin, for oily skin. It just sets the makeup so beautifully. It doesn't look cakey. It never ever looks cakey and you can reapply it throughout the day as many times as you want and it's never going to look cakey. It's so finely milled and it's so beautiful. I think that this color specifically is going to be suitable for everyone because it is transparent um, so anyone can use it and I really appreciate that. So one thing that I love and adore about this powder is that it doesn't look like powder. It is powder, no powder. It is exactly meets all of my highest standards when it comes to powders and I have tried a lot of powders. As someone who is suffering from oily parts on the face. Um, apparently I'm someone who've tried, who has tried so many powders in my life and I always go back to this one. So this one is a regular repurchase. If you've been following me for a while, you know that one of my holy grail powders is the loose powder from Givenchy Prisma Libre. This one I would say could be even better I don't know. Um, the Givenchy powder is just a loose powder. It's going to give you that poreless effect. But this one is just a compact powder that again is going to give you that poreless effect. I think that if I had to pick a powder that is my number one of all times, a compact powder that is number one of all times for me, this is definitely going to be this compact powder from Chanel. And as I said in the beginning, I just cannot remember how many times I have repurchased this powder. And I'm actually very happy because I just finished one when I was in Venice. And this was actually the only one of the few makeup products that I got. So very often when I'm happy with the way my skin looks, I'm not even going to be using foundation. I'm just going to apply some sunscreen and then set with this powder. But then when I don't use foundation, I'm definitely going to use a sponge when I use this powder because I want to have a little bit more on my face. It is a very very brilliant product from Chanel and I'm so so happy that they decided to do this exceptionally beautiful limited edition. So I think that by now you all know how much I love this powder but anyways should you purchase this powder and for who this powder is suitable I would say for everyone you can't go wrong with this powder and just go ahead and try it. I'm pretty sure that a lot of people are, are actually going to purchase a second one just like me because if you are a Chanel lover or if you are a collector just this piece it's really really hard to touch this piece um, and I'm pretty sure that now that I'm using it with a brush the patterns are going to be able to survive a few uses but not more then four uses and then the patterns are going to be gone. So at the time when I'm filming this footage, it's been six hours since I powdered my face and since I applied my makeup. So I'm going to get closer so that you can see actually, I don't need to reapply the powder. I still don't need to reapply the powder and my face looks um, quite flawless, I would say. Um, even close up, my face looks quite good, quite flawless. So that was all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and for spending time with me. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I truly appreciate your time and support and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.